30,000 tourists visit North Stradbroke Island every year. And every one of them passes unknowingly an unmarked, forgotten, but historic shipwreck. Laying on a sandbank is the shipwreck. Walking there is possible with a 700 metre walk from the shore. And let me tell you about her because I think she's excellent. From satellite view, you can see that she has a distinctive forked bow. Let me introduce to you the dredge Hercules. A dredge is a ship designed to cut and to remove material from the bottom of a body of water, often to increase depth or improve flow of a shipping channel. The Hercules lived and worked for her entire life in the Brisbane River, creating and shaping the waterway that has made Brisbane the city it is today. She lived up to her Greek god name by weighing 800 tonnes and being 70 metres long. She was built in England in the year 1900 and she was equipped with two powerful steam engines, which meant that she was capable of a top speed of 10 knots. But the Hercules did not need to go fast. She needed to suck and to pump and to dredge. And so she had on board a 2,500 horsepower hydraulic suction pump. The Brisbane River looks very different today to how it did 120 years ago. The Hercules reshaped the river to make it what it is today. She moved earth and realigned the river in a way that had not been seen before. She reshaped the Brisbane River to make it the city we know and love today, not just physically, but culturally. The Eat Street Markets in the box on the left were once just part of the river. And the gateway bridges in the box on the right are built on what was once no more than a swamp. It was in 1909 the Harbours and Rivers Department decided to alter the course of vessels entering the Brisbane River and so had to cut a new channel using the Hercules. For three years, four million tonnes of material was dredged from the river and the bay and directed to a small sandbank on the southern side of the river mouth. It created a small island, which was named Bishop Island, in honour of the captain of the Hercules, Alan Fitzroy Bishop. Eventually it became a popular weekend destination where people could go easily and enjoy the bay before we had easy access to places like Nudgee, Wynnum. In 1990, the Brisbane port expanded and reclaimed Bishop Island. This is it today, the site of the container loading cranes, those giant giraffe structures that grace our coastal skyline. 16 years of continually dredging in the Brisbane River had entirely worn out the working gear of the ship and in 1917, the Hercules was put out of commission. In 1952, she was towed from Brisbane to North Stradbroke Island and purposefully sunk in her current position just north of Dunwich to be used as a private oyster factory for the next 30 years. Today, she lays in the sand, alone, ignored, and unvisited by the masses. Sonda is a German word which translates to the profound feeling that everybody has a life as complex and a history as rich as our own, which they are living, regardless of if we are aware of it. This is exactly what I feel when I visit a shipwreck. Everything around us has a story and has contributed to the way the world is. The Hercules lived a vibrant life, shaping the city of Brisbane that so many of us know, love and get to call home. Now all that remains, 700 metres from the shore on Stradbroke Island, visited only by the rising tide and some soldier crabs, lays a very rusty, very forgotten, but historic shipwreck.